Hey y'all, what's going on? So we're coming up on the full moon, Sagittarius full moon to be exact. Um, this is a powerful time. This is that time spirit light and fires under everybody butts, you know? And depending on your situation, depending on your outcome, okay? So right now, it's best to keep your thoughts positive and as pure as possible. I'm not saying that the thoughts don't come up, the intrusive thoughts, but make sure you're removing them as soon as they come, okay? Be more aware, be more intentional, practice forgiveness, remember, don't judge others, you know, at the end of the day, especially you divine ones, you're here to help heal people, heal the broken, not judge them for being broken. Because you were once broken. And those who have been feeling broken lately, you're about to reach a breakthrough. Let's get right into it. What messages, Spirit? What messages do you have? Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. This is yin yang energy. This is you two coming together. This is all the pieces to the puzzle finally starting to fit for you and your person. I feel like y'all both are ready to embrace this, embrace each other, embrace this journey. It took a while for y'all to get to this point. It took some time. Um, but patience is what may be one of the lessons that you needed to learn. And I feel like you've been doing a good job at it. We have a message for you. Thinking of you at this very moment, your love fills me with light. I love you. I feel like they're always thinking about you. I feel like they're ready to embrace the light. Okay, they're finding balance between the light and the dark that's within them. The yin and the yang. I feel like both of y'all are coming together, but this person is embracing their inner light. Okay, this could be your soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and it will manifest physically one more spirit one more so they're saying embrace this connection the soul for some of you it's a soulmate connection for some of you this is a friendship for some of you this is all of the above um for some of you this is a twin flame connection and y'all have this unbreakable bond and y'all are finally becoming one union is here in this full moon that's here on saturday um, the energy is already there, so you could be feeling like a lot of heavy energy, you could be feeling emotional, um, stuff like that. Don't allow your emotions to get the best of you. But we got friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. So some of you are needing to be friends first. Y'all never really built a friendship, and without friendship, without building that unbreakable friendship, then you won't laugh anymore at each other's jokes. You'll get upset about things that you usually laugh at. You know what I mean? Or you're fussing over or irritated about things that you're learning about them when this has been them the whole time. But if you gotten to know them as a friend, you would know that. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like right now that's important embracing the friendship that's within the relationship because criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform mm -hmm. look sacred union is right around the corner for you okay honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred close your eyes and tell yourself um, you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So something is about to change in your life. Um, don't criticize your person. I know that y'all been through a lot. I know that, you know, y'all didn't see eye to eye at one point. There was a lot of lessons, a lot of growth, a lot of upsets and disappointments, a lot of happy times. It was just a lot of uh, an emotional roller coaster that you may have been on in spirit of seeing this was not for nothing. So right now, it's no point in pointing a finger or criticizing or judging your person for the things that they did in the past and the choices that they made. Because you made some messed up choices too. We all are still learning and still growing and still just trying to love, find out how to love ourselves the best way we can. 
okay? And the more that you love yourself, the more that you practice forgiveness with others because you realize that nobody's perfect. So stop beating yourself up too. Stop criticizing yourself and being very critical on yourself, okay? Let's see what's going on. Embrace the friendship, okay? We be thinking about you all the time. What's going on? What's a message for you? What's a message for you? I got the cards upside down. I'm like, why are all these cards coming out in reverse? Okay. All right. So this card was meant to be in reverse because when I flip these over, this was still in the reverse. And this is the four of cups. This is them coming out of that energy where they are willing to miss this opportunity because they're too focused on past situations. They're coming out of that energy. This is somebody who is open to this opportunity more so. Four cups in an upright would we'll talk about maybe not seeing something that's being, you know, given to them, being shown to them. But you guys are definitely magnets to each other. Y'all y'all pull on each other energy. And I feel like this person is tired of just the back and forth. Okay, they're tired of just thinking about you, watching you from a distance. This person has grown a lot. I feel like they have been in conflict with themselves, but I also feel like they're in conflict with other people that's around them. It could be friends, could be a soulmate, somebody that they were um, attached to, but something is coming to an end. There's a big, powerful transformation that's happening here, like right with, with you and with your person, right? before your eyes like um the time is now for these dark karmic relationships to end okay you have learned big lessons and i feel like some of them is not giving up without a fight because you you know a lot of these karmics have been like mentally ill okay like to the point maybe needing medicine or something like that um, there's there's some dark energy that's here that this person is releasing. This person wants to communicate with you. They want to open up and tell you that they are walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. Okay, and they may not have been able to come towards you because they had to f handle this first. Like they don't want to involve you in what they had going on, and that's why a lot of you may have had to walk away from them because they were in another situation, okay? But this person is not willing to, to miss this opportunity with you. They're willing to fight for you. They're going through a major transformation where they're ending a toxic situation and walking away from people, places, and things. Could be friendships or, like I said, partnerships, family, whoever, because they're ready to embrace you and come into sacred union with you. What we got for friendships? We have for friendships. Okay. All right. Okay. So, all right. This person is wanting to heal the friendship that you guys had. I feel like y'all could have been like best friends. Okay. Like best friends. And, oh, let me put this card down. And they wanted to heal the friendship that you guys have. Like, I feel like you may not have ever had in a relationship with this person for some of you y'all may have got to the relationship stage but i feel like for some of you it was never meant for y'all to get into a relationship because neither one of y'all was ready even if you felt like you was ready or you could have made it work i feel like in order to have this type of relationship it was still some learning and stuff that you needed to go through but this person definitely views you as the person that they want to marry it just was they had other options in the past. There was one person in particular that they thought was their person that they may have chosen over you, but this person had to let go of that person. They could have been married to that person for some of them engaged or whatever the case may be. But this person now recognizes that your friendship, the bond that you have with this person, it means a lot to him or her. And they have deep regret about a lot of the things that they, they put you through, that they chose over you. They're recognizing that they have been the reason for a lot of their mishaps in their life. 
they regret a lot of things. This person could be going through a sadness, depressed at this time, you know, wanting to offer you something, but afraid that you might not accept it. I feel like you definitely don't see this coming. Um, you may you may have a feeling that it's coming because you're intuitive, but you may not know when. This person is just waiting on the right time to come towards you. I feel like they're trying to heal themselves a little bit. Or I also feel like energetically that they're trying to release the energy of this dark person. Because I feel like they were, I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm not judging these karmics. Um, there's people who choose light and there's people who choose dark. And this karmic that they were dealing with chose the dark. They were a liar, stealer, maniving, uh, conniving, <laughs> manipulative. Okay, so I didn't add both of them words into one. All right. This person, um, major person believed that they were of the light at first. Okay. They kind of was confused. But I feel like these karmics are like wanting revenge, but their time is up. And I must say, um, you're highly protected. And whatever energy that they've been investing in, like if this was a coven of people or if it was just your, pers your person's um, karmic partner that they chose, regardless who this was, this person has chosen the dark side and this person is like out for revenge. This person is like very angry that you guys are coming into union. Um, they tried their best to try to stop it. Um, this is just a dark entity. This this person energy. This person could be very beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, very nasty dark energy. That and and this person that they chose may not even have a spirit team. It's like soulless energy, demonic energy. Like once you sell your soul, then you become a soulless being. And all types of demonic energy att uh, attaches itself to this person. Mm. They regret choosing that person because your person is not soulless. Your person will not sell their soul. Your person wants this. Your person wants this connection. It's, your person wants to embrace their true self, their inner self. They finally are embracing the dark and the light that's within them instead of judging themselves for the darkness. I feel like that's another reason why they didn't want to jump into a relationship with you because they had a lot of darkness within them and they looked at you as just this light being not knowing that you had darkness within within you too but it was like needing to come into balance needing to find balance this person didn't want you to judge them this person felt like damn this is this light beautiful light being and i don't want to hurt this person all right so anyway you're highly protected from these karmic entities. Look, as I'm saying that, look at this. The three of swords. So your person definitely is trying to heal from heartbreak. After I feel like this, uh, for a lot of them, this is the ego death. But we got the devil too. So I feel like whoever this third party is, she definitely a witch. He, she, take what resonate. But if you look right here, you have a third person in the background. Okay, and this person is like, look like a witch, like brewing something up in the background. That's what this person been doing this whole time. But I feel like your person finally recognized. Your person was so worried about looking at you that they weren't paying attention to them. Because they thought that this person was a good energy. <laughs> but now that they're awakening, the more that they're awakening, they're starting to realize this person is actually the devil, the opposite of you. But this person is also very passionate about you. This is like obsessed with you. Like watches you while you sleep. Like sends you music messages. Um, this person's heartbroken over the way that they mistreated you. And the fact that they didn't embrace this. And didn't really be a good friend to you. Even if y'all wasn't in a relationship yet. They weren't a good friend. The way they mishandled you. The way they ghosted you. Things that they did to make you really feel down and broken because they know that they broke your heart now they're recognizing that they broke your heart a lot of these masculines were numbed out to their emotions because you got these dark witches playing with their emotions 
behind the scenes to keep them numb and and not in tune with their soul and what their heart was telling them. So no, they couldn't feel your heartbreak. No, they didn't understand that what they were doing was breaking your heart. It wasn't intentional for some of them, you know. But um, at, at the end of the day, I feel like now they finally recognize that it was like the devil playing a role here. Now this person is wanting to embrace and choose you, okay? They know that they have a big choice to make, and they're walking away from the other person to this new beginning. They're making a big choice in love, okay? There was definitely another person, all right? And they're walking away from that person towards their two of cups. They want to embrace this. They want to match your energy. They're praying that you don't criticize them or judge them for the things that they may have done in the past. Um, they're finally learning to forgive themselves and stop criticizing themselves. They're hoping that you could forgive them too because they do want a second chance with you. They want to start rebuilding this friendship. For some of you, like I said, y'all never even was in a relationship. And I know it still hurt as if you were in a relationship. But y'all never was really in a relationship. So now it's like about retaking baby steps and building that friendship back up. You know? And starting over and embracing that true friendship. Being able to hug each other when each other is down. And pick each other up. And you laughing at each other corny jokes. You know what I mean? Because it ain't corny, y'all. Y'all think it's hilarious. Y'all got inside jokes and everything. Y'all about to build this bond that can't be broken. Okay, so say a prayer for yourself and your person, kind and gentle to yourself and your person, namaste.